हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज़ अबाउट के सेट काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल द स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस ऑफ द काउंसलिंग एंड वंस द के सेट रैंक्स आर आउट राइट सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस विच इज़ डिफाइंड बाय कर्नाटका एग्जामिनेशन अथॉरिटी एंड सेम इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल द कोर्सेस लाइक इंजीनियरिंग आर्किटेक्चर एग्रीकल्चर एंड द फार्म साइसेस फार्मा डी एंड अदर कोर्सेस राइट सो दिस इज अ स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस आई से देर आर सिक्स टू सेवन स्टेप्स यू कैन सी फर्स्ट इज यू हैव टू रजिस्टर फॉर काउंसलिंग दैट इज कॉल ऑनलाइन रजिस्टर एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन द स्टेप लेटर इन दिस वीडियो नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी डॉक्यूमेंट अपलोड एंड वेरीफिकेशन ऑल्सो आई विल टेल यू वॉट डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर एंड वॉट इज द करेक्ट वे ऑफ वेरीफाइंग इट ऑप्शन एंट्री फॉर द कॉलेज एंड द कोर्स प्रिफरेंस दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप वेर यू फिल ऑल द कॉलेज लिस्ट एंड देन सीट अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस देर आर मल्टीपल rounds the followed by the fee payment process and the last one is the reporting to the college so i will explain one of the, each of these one by one so the first process is definitely once the results are out right the online registration for the counseling will happen right so everyone will cannot attend the counseling only those people who register for the counseling can attend right so you have to register on the kea portal using your cet number and the other details and document upload and verification is the next step so let me show the details of the first step which is the counseling registration process for that you will have to visit the kea portal which, which will be cetonline.karnataka.gov.in backslash kea so that is the process you, you will have to first go to the official kea portal then you will see there will be a link for ugct 2025 uh you know counseling registration so this is uh, right now not there but once it will be activated you will find a link so the next step will be you will be logging to uh, log into that link with your kcet application number and date of birth combination right so that is how you will have a your cet credentials created on the ugct 2025 counseling registration link so after you are successfully able to log into the kset portal or cet portal you will be asked to upload the scanned copies of all your document for verification so these are basically set of documents you know which uh, will uh, prove your identity as well as uh, your uh, you know education details and verification of your eligibility criteria and fit for counseling so first document is like uh, kset admit card so this is document you will re you would have got while giving the test and you should preserve it and save it right without without the kset admit card you will not be allowed to basically uh, attend the counseling so kset admit card and the kset rank card definitely is the required document and then later you see you have to also get your class 10th and the 12th mark sheet uploaded then students who are claiming their cast certificate or based on income certificate they are claiming the different reservation categories those students will be required to submit their cast or the income certificate i'll make another separate video of detailed what are the different type of certificates are required by different category of students but next one will be study certificate for karnataka students to prove that you have studied 7 years in karnataka or you are meeting any other requirements so class a is 7 years in karnataka class b class c class c class d class f and so on up to o class students are there so that certificate is required then you require an aadhar card and apart from that you need a passport size photographs so those are the documents and also there will be some students in the special categories which is uh, army ex army ncc sports certificate and all right so those students will be required to put another certificate related to that and then there will be step for number 4 where you have to counseling pay the counseling fees so in 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 some years kea has asked for small counseling fees but if that is required for this year also then you will have to pay it through online or credit card or debit card or uh, net facility now step 5 will be the actual document verification is going to start so most of the cl uh, clauses the document verification uh, will be only online only for the student of the class a 
क्लास ए विच हैज़ द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स मीटिंग द सेवन ईयर क्राइटेरिया फॉर स्टडी इन कर्नाटका फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स इट विल बी ऑफलाइन सो देर विल बी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सेंटर्स विल बी देयर अक्रॉस स्टेट वेयर द डॉक्यूमेंट वेरीफिकेशन विल हैपन इन अ फिजिकल मोड राइट सो दैट विल बी कॉल द हेल्प सेंटर फॉर डॉक्यूमेंट वेरीफिकेशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू विजिट द नियरेस्ट हेल्प सेंटर नियर टू देयर एरिया for the offline verification but the other class students like class b class c class d and up to o where the number of students will be less those students can do the online verification also so they don't need to uh, go anywhere but for both the type of verification you will receive a document verification slip with unique secret key yeah after successful completion so all those students who have successfully you know done document verification they should get document verification slip with secret key and you should save this without this secret key you will not be at able to do the option entry so that is very important next is the step c which is basically now you are doing option entry registration so that again for doing this you will need this secret key which i just mentioned and you will also need the login credential to access the option entry module so this is the place where you are going to put all your college preference and the course preference in the order so that you get some seats right so that is the option entry registration module so again for the document verification part i will say that document verification is mandatory to be eligible for seat allotments so all the students who don't complete document registration they cannot attend the counseling rounds right now the option entry or the choice filling as i mentioned this is again a detailed process where you can do option choice filling order wise based on your placements cut off any other thing i'll make a separate video of how you do it but once you have done option entry there will be the next round which is called the mock seat allotment that means it is the round which is there to give you the practice of what possible seat you can get based on what is, what, what the rank you are having right so this is not the actual allotment this is a mock allotment after the mock allotment there will be something called the first round allotment second round allotment and third round but the first round allotment is basically the actual allotment where you get a seat and then you will be given some choices to act upon those allotment you may be happy with that allotment or unhappy but you have to exercise some choices out of four choices and i will tell you what are those four choices soon and if you are happy with that then you can pay the fees and take your uh, course you know for uh, joining and you will have to pay the fee for the first year right at ka and uh, then only you will be able to generate admission order for reporting to college so these were the four seat allotment choices i was just talking so once you get a seat and if you are happy with your seat you want to join the college you don't want to participate further in the counseling you can basically go for option 1 which says that accept the seat and do not participate in the further round if you are happy with the seat but still you want to explore and get even better seats in the next rounds then in that case you should do option 2 which is accept the seat and participate in the next round of counseling then there are the third criteria option 3 which is you are not happy with the seat you want to reject the seat so in that case you will not hold the seat but still you can participate in the next round of counseling and fourth is the situation where you want to completely exit from the counseling because you would have got some better seats through je means or the any other uh, you know private university exams or uh, other you know comed ke others right so in that case you can exit from the counseling also and step step number 7 is only for the students who have paid the fees and downloaded the admission order and they can join the reported report to the college which they have got so all reporting documents set will be there which you need to carry along with the admission order then only that particular college will accept your reporting and will report to ka that you have joined the college and that way the counseling process will be complete so the other official dates are now not available for uh, schedule but this will be the typical schedule which will happen so the results are going to be out in the month of uh, uh, may last week and the document verification can start in june choice filling and locking of your college and course combinations will happen in the july 2025
and uh, mock round and all the final rounds of uh, you know seat allotment can com- be completed in the month of august so college is going to start mostly in the august or the september 2025 month right so that's all the update i have thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye